Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of intestinal obstruction with perforation and localizing the site of perforation. You can see a female patient and the scanning of the lower abdominal cavity. You can see this is your knee bladder, this is uterus and this is cervix. This is the free fluid scene and this is also the free fluid scene in the lower abdominal cavity. The fluid is thick and turbid having multiple internal echoes. And this thick fluid is also a sign of perforation. You can see this is ovary. Now the ultrasound images are more detailed than a standard x-ray and are more likely to show an intestinal obstruction. When an intestinal obstruction occurs in children, ultrasound is often preferred type of imaging. Again you can see the free fluid seen in the lower abdominal cavity. The classical presentation of this intestinal obstruction with perforation is sudden and severe abdominal pain, sometimes with localized peritonism or a rigid abdomen on examination. If the perforation is due to bowel obstruction, for instance, there may be an initial relief of pain as the dilated bowel collapse. Then the pain begins again when peritonitis develops. Now you can see the gut loops and you can see a gut loop is perforated. This is the site of perforation and you can see this perforated end of the gut loop is floating in the free fluid scene. This is the leakage portion of the gut. And you can see it is moving to and fro. It is floating in the thick fluid scene in the lower abdominal cavity. If gastrointestinal tract is perforated, the contents may spill into the abdomen and cause peritonism, peritonitis, and infection. This infection can lead to sepsis. In a deadly response to infection, sepsis may develop. Now you again you can see the site of perforation and this end of the gut lobes is floating in the fluid without lobes. You can see the gut lobes and there is no lobe seen in this portion of the gut which is perforated. If bowel ruptures then what happens there is gas and feces built up in the colon. Large intestine may eventually rupture. Rupture of the colon is a life threatening if intestine ruptures bacteria that are normally present in the intestine releases release into the abdomen. This can cause a serious infection and even death. Now you can see the gut lobes in the middle abdominal cavity. And you can see the there is no intestinal movement. The gut lobes have no intestinal motility. The gut movements are missing. Now the signs and symptoms of intestinal obstruction includes crampy abdominal pain that comes and goes, loss of appetite, constipation, Vomiting, inability to have a bowel movement or pass flatus 
pass gas. Now again you can see the site of perforation and the perforated end of the gut loops is floating moving to and fro to and fro in the thick fluid seen in the abdominal cavity lower abdominal cavity the laxative laxatives can help to relieve the symptoms in bowel obstruction and not in the perforation but there will not they will not necessarily resolve the obstruction and you can be advised whether or not anema or supposed to is may be helpful in obstruction now the swelling of the abdomen symptoms of bowel perforation include sudden and severe abdominal pain nausea and vomiting fever chills swelling and bloating of the abdomen intestinal obstruction with now you can see again the thick fluid seen in the lower abdominal cavity there is loss of gastric uh, there is loss of intestinal motility and the fluid is thick thick and turbid due to the presence of intestinal contents into this fluid and this is the leaked portion leaked end of the gut loop you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks again